This video describes how to use the push button in the 123D circuits simulator. Here we have a battery, and it's directly connected to a light bulb with a couple wires. If we wanted to control the battery with the push button, we could do that. Let's take a look at some example circuits. Here we have a push button in the circuit. If I click on it, the light bulb lights up, and when I let go of it, the light bulb goes out. And that's because the push button is being used to complete the circuit. It is essentially becoming the wire that's crossing between these terminals. Now let's look at the names of these terminals. Here's terminal 1, 1, here's terminal 2, 1, here's terminal 1, 2, and terminal 2, 2. I also call these sometimes left and right. And what happens is when you push the button, the left side and the right side connect to each other on the inside. So as long as you have one on the left and one on the right, they'll be connected on the inside. Let's zoom out. So if you look here, this turns on. Here's sort of going in on the right, coming out on the left. That turns on. And here we have a button that's rotated 90 degrees. You see it's connected with terminals 1, 1 and terminal 2, 1. These are the ones that are usually on the bottom left and bottom right in the default position. Now what if I wanted the light bulb to stay on? Well, if I hold down shift and I click, the button stays pressed. And if I click it once, it releases it. Let's try that to all of these. Shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. And to release, click once, click once, click once. Now you can do interesting things with this. Let's look at another couple. Click, 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 click. It won't go on unless I hold down shift and then click the second one. So then I'll lock it on by keeping the button pressed. Shift, click, shift, click. To turn them off, I just turn off one of them. Now, to give you an idea of how this could look in a breadboard, let's go here. We've got a battery, it's connected to the rails, and you see that the wire from the light bulb is going into the left side, and the button becomes that wire when I press it that connects the right side back to the battery. And if you really want to see what's going on inside the button, we've set up some multimeters. So you see that from top to bottom, there's no resistance. This is connected here inside, and this is connected here inside. But across is not connected. It has a mega ohm reading, which is as high as it goes in 123D circuits. So if I push the button, it goes to zero ohms. And that's meaning that this is being connected, so there's zero resistance. And this is connected, there's zero resistance. So that's how the push button works in the 123D circuit simulator. You can find the URL of this circuit in the description of the video. You can go to it and you can play with this circuit in the simulator in 123D circuits.